We're going to talk about closeouts. If you can't guard the basketball, you can't guard. Forget help defense. Forget where you position this person. Forget all. You have to guard the basketball, and you have to keep the basketball in front of you. And if you can't do that, eventually that team is going to get a shot against you, and it's going to be a high-quality shot. So we believe you have to guard the basketball. We believe that you have to keep it in front of you. One of the reasons we run the dribble drive on offense is because most people can't do that. Coaches come up to me all the time, but I only got two guys or two girls that can dribble the basketball. Well, that's all you need. Because I guarantee you the team you're playing doesn't have three people that can stop it. I've coached for 35 years or whatever I just told you a hundred times already, and I don't know if I've ever had a team that had three people on it that could really, really, really keep the ball in front of them. And I bet you don't either. So we have to work every day on that. We have to work every day on keeping the ball in front of us. I'm going to give you a series of closeout drills. Now, through this, through this, I'm going to talk a little bit about what we do, all right, only to make the drills look better and to give you a better idea of it. But it really doesn't matter what we do. It's what you do. And hopefully, you're going to be able to take the drill and turn it into what you do. Because how do you guard the ball when it's on the wing? How do you guard a wing pick and roll? How do you guard a high pick and roll? How do you guard a flat screen? How do you guard a cross screen? How do you guard those things? Well, you can spend hours and hours and hours in practice trying to teach your kids, all right? Or you can find a way to come up with one or two drills that teaches it all. And hopefully I'm going to show you that today.